I have been coming to this island since I was 12 years old. It didn't take me long to realize the rich history it has here. When I bought this island in 2018, I fulfilled a lifelong dream. The goal is not only to preserve the memories I made over those years, but to make new ones and to give others the opportunity to do the same. As we go through this process, it has become clear to me, we aren't just rebuilding an island, we're reviving a legend. Well, the wait is over. We are here getting ready for our captain's dinner, our third annual Blue Marlin tournament out here at Walker's K. And uh, you can see the tents back up, We're getting excited. I got about 500 people in there. A bunch of friends that I've made over the last three years. Got the defending champion in there. We're gonna recognize Billy Black, the Sea Lion 2, which is here, the most famous boat at Walker's. And uh, lots of really good people in there. So, so out of all the big awards we have coming this weekend, one, we're gonna do something tonight. We're starting uh, a Walker's K Hall of Fame of real pertinent people out here. And uh, we're gonna display that when, when the lodge is done and all that. Got two recipients tonight, Billy Black uh, from the Duchess, and uh, I believe the captain of the uh, Sea Lion 2 is Scott Levine. So we're gonna, we're gonna honor them tonight and recognize them. And it should be pretty special. Those boats have been coming here since the 60s, <laughs> okay? and now they're back. I am so proud, I got them parked next to each other over there, Billy Black's here, Captain Levine. How cool would it be if one of those boats wins this tournament? So the Sea Lion 2 is very famous here because it was Bob Applenaff's boat and he used it personally. It was made an, into an absolute legend when it became the beginning of the Walker's K Chronicles and it's that we're gonna run the ragged edge and paint memories on film and then you see the Sea Lion 2 running off and Bob Applenaff, uh, Billy Black, um, every fisherman you can imagine spent time on that. Went down to Costa Rica a lot and came back, but as much as I love Billy Black, the Sea Lion 2 is probably the most classic boat we have in our marina tonight. So we're gonna, we're gonna recognize that. All right, well, Let's do this. Let's kick this thing off. I got 500 people waiting here. Let's go. Invitational aboard the Sea Lion 2, her first uh, inaugural uh, fishing tournament in over 10 years. Today we're going to run up to the uh, west about 18 miles and look at a warm water edge where it meets some of the cooler water and uh, from there maybe go a little bit north and see what it looks like offshore. asking me the big question where are you gonna go today I'm like well I'm gonna go out 
and uh, take a look around and see if I can see anything that might give me a uh, possible indication of where to go. And I just found it. I'm going right there. Eight o'clock. Lines in. Keep it short because it's really hard to see today. So today we ran uh, down here to the west towards the corner uh, to where we thought we would uh, find a nice temperature break, which we did. It was about two degrees. It went from um, like 79 uh, to 81 and then 82 degrees after that. Found some bird life, caught a few mahi and uh, a few little uh, yellowfin tunas and wandered around this area for a while and then managed to uh, hook a little blue marlin. We thought it was a white at first, it was on the long rigger and I uh, kept following it and uh, when finally after it bit and we had him on, he started jumping all over and we saw it was a blue and unfortunately pulled the hook. You know, you have like odd years and good, odd and even years where some years we catch a lot of billfish here during this time of year and then other years it can be completely like slow. So it's different year to year, but I would say as far as the inshore fishing, I, I feel it's really gotten a lot better here over the years because of the lack of pressure. I, I would say Walker's Key is some of the, in, in the surrounding areas, Sail Key down to Carter's and Strangers, it's some of the best bone fishing in the world. We don't like people to know it, but it really is. These ocean flats um, get a lot of really good nutrient rich water right from the deep ocean. And it, and, it, and it breeds a lot of big, big bone fish here and a lot of really good bone fishing. Uh, the sea line's hooked up. Had a bite, didn't see it. Got something on, not sure. Something just surfaced out here. That's our fish. Get ready to wind. That's a billfish of some sort. I haven't seen it. I see color now. You should be able to get them on the GoPro. Stick that GoPro down underwater. Pass the bubble. In, got it in. Lots of winding now. You did not just grunt, I hope. All right, we're on the board. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was amazing. It's much harder than I thought it was going to be, honestly. You want a cigarette? <laughs> I personally fished a lot on this boat uh, back in the day, and um, one great story that I got to tell is uh, John Applenap loved to fly fish. All right, so the Sea Lion was built in Stewart, Florida at Whitaker Boatyard in 1963, and a few years later, the uh, Applenap family, um, famed to owning the Walker's K, uh, purchased the boat and used it as their, uh, their personal boat. President Nixon used to fish on it with uh, Bob Applenap, and uh, little Johnny was around in, uh, during, during those years that uh, they all fished together. And then uh, later on, uh, also the uh, famous TV show Walker's K Chronicles with Flip Pallet, uh, which was probably one of the most famous uh, fishing shows for many, many years. And uh, it's just, it's, a, it's a, great, a great thing to see this boat back uh, parked next to the Duchess with Captain Billy Black, who was also, you know, legendary part of Walker's K and and its making and, and fishing and uh, making its history of, of of all the fish that were caught here. So it's it's quite an honor to get to, to be here for all of this. It's pretty cool to see the uh, island come back together after the hurricanes destroyed it. Um, Carl's done an amazing job. The marina's first class. It's one of the nicest marinas I've, I've seen, especially in the Bahamas. And I can't wait till uh, he gets all the accommodations and hotels set up here so that everybody can start coming back here with their families and fishing again. It's just one of the 
greatest locations in the Bahamas to come fishing. Need one more, the Grand Slam's got us by time. Um, it was a real honor last night to uh, accept the award for uh, the legendary Sea Lion. This boat has so much history here, and especially having grown up here in the Bahamas around the boat and uh, hanging out with the Flanagans and the Applenaps and all the great times we had here in the last 30 years. It's just, it's a, it's a great, it's a great honor and a pleasure to be able to fish her in this tournament. Pretty work, buddy. Nice job, guys. So today, uh, Nick and Fowler, both uh, my anglers, it was their first blue marlin they ever caught, so that was kind of exciting today. My name is Bobby Jacobson, the uh, boat is Marlin Darlin from Clearwater, Florida. Well, we struggled starting off and about 2.30, we had a double header, caught one blue Marlin out of two and uh, feel like we broke our jinx and ready to come on strong tomorrow. Feeling strong, a lot of fish around and uh, Walker's K is uh, showing a lot of action today. A lot of the boats had a lot of fish and uh, excited about a uh, better day tomorrow. Hurry up and get here, the fight's on. The name of the boat's hit and run. My name is Byron Russell. We're out of uh, Jupiter, Palm Beach area. We had a good day. I think we had seven or eight bites. We caught three. It was, a, it was an epic day for blue marlin fishing here at Walker's. Well, I've been coming here over 50 years, so and I've never had a bad time. <laughs> My name's Trent Brown. The uh, name of the boat's Seven. Uh, we're from Jupiter, Florida, and we're having a great time fishing here at the uh, Walker's K Invitational. We had a great day. We, uh, we caught four sails. Uh, we uh, pulled off a marlin, blue marlin, and uh, we're hoping to catch a few more tomorrow. You know, we're seeing some fish and uh, there's a bunch of fish in the area, so it's, it's, it's been a great tournament so far. I'm Mike Bucklin. Uh, this is The Real Pushy and we're from Palm Beach and Savannah, Georgia. It was good. We started off uh, trolling, saw some dolphin around. Saw a few blue ones that went and switch, and then cut a nice white at the end to save the day. But um, you know, there's a few more days left, and we're feeling pretty promising about the next couple days. So it'll be good. It's a beautiful spot. I've been coming here for pretty much my whole life. I'm 28 years old. I remember when I was 10 years old here, running up and down the docks. You know, place is full. I'm glad to see it's back to, you know, we're getting back to its original norm. Um, the fishing's phenomenal. 
the diving's phenomenal. Every you know everything about it's great and stuff. So if you're not from here and you haven't been here, it's a great place to great place to check out and uh, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, last year was a great win. Um, you know, very consistent throughout the three days that we fished and stuff, and really paid off at the end. We were super stoked to we, to be where we were, and hopefully we can do it again this year. Spencer Sullivan, captain on the Sweetums. Um, today we had a great day today. Caught two blue marlins, pulled the hook on another one. Had another one that wouldn't switch over. Great day today. Awesome time here in Walker's Cay. Wallace Higginbotham, Grand Slam. Had a great day. Caught three blue ones and. A lot of sailfish there at the end of the day. I have one really nice fish that we got the leader on and tried to get a good look at and it just, it, it came off on the leader, but um, all in all, great day. Weather was beautiful and just nothing else to say. It was just a, a fun day on the water. This is our third year. We've been here every year and had some really good fishing. Lost a really big fish last year here and just had, 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 had a good time here so far. It's been, it's been great. Like and subscribe for more Walker's Cay content. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms. And as always, we can't wait to see you here at Walker's Cay.